Sometimes people suffer, but still don't take action. In this case, the interesting question is, why can't people change even though they are suffering? Isn't it an interesting situation? Because they have not suffered enough, it means that each person has an emotional threshold and they have not yet crossed it. Even though the current situation hurt them, even though they think that change in their lives would be good, they are partially satisfied with this situation they are in. And they are afraid of losing this satisfied situation or things getting worse. These emotions also do not allow them to leave their comfort zone. Let's illustrate this case. For example, you are an overweight, you are having trouble climbing stairs, or you cannot participate in your children's exciting activities. When you buy a dress, you will never find the right size for the model you want. Finally, you can't stand these pains and say, enough is enough and make a decision. So, what do you think? What motivates that decision? Or what makes it so strong? Of course, the desire to remove the pain from your life and bring back pleasure. In life, the most important lesson we learn is what brings us the pain and what brings us pleasure. Ask yourself this question. What are your experience of pain and pleasure that have shaped your life? For example, I enjoy researching and learning new things. I love sharing what I have learned with others. This is also a reflex in my life and make my decision accordingly. To these days, I have never had alcohol or smoking cigarettes. I don't know the taste of any of them. I'm not curious either. I feel good that I don't have such bad habits. Because smoking and alcohol make people's life worse. Those habits awaken the feeling of pain in me. And it's very easy for me not to keep them in my life. Based on my understanding of human experience, I believe that the most important lesson we learn in life are about what brings us joy and what causes us suffering. This experience can shape our life, our relationship and our goal. Painful experiences can teach us about the importance of resilience, compassion, and strength. When we experience pain, we are forced to confront our own vulnerability and mortality. This can be a difficult and challenging process, but it can also lead to growth and transformation. For example, someone who has experienced the loss of a loved one may learn to appreciate the preciousness of life and the importance of living in the present moment. Someone who has been through a difficult illness may develop a greater appreciation for health and well-being. And someone who has been the victim of injustice may become a passionate advocate for a social change. Pleasurable experience can teach us about the importance of love, gratitude, and joy. When we experience pleasure, we are reminded of the beauty of the world and the goodness of humanity. This can lead to a more positive outlook on life and a greater sense of purpose. For example, someone who has fallen in love may learn about the power of connections and intimacy. Someone who has traveled to a new place may develop a greater appreciation for a diversity and culture. And someone who has achieved a personal goal may feel a sense of accomplishment and fulfillment. In conclusion, 
the experiences of pain and pleasure that shape our lives are both challenging and rewarding. They can teach us about ourselves, our relationships, and the world around us. By reflecting on this experience, we can grow and become more resilient, compassionate, and joyful people. Yes, that is the gist of it. In order to adopt new habits or change your life, you need to associate them with a feeling of pleasure. On the other hand, you also need to associate the things you want to remove from your life with the feeling of pain. You already know what is good, what is bad, but the issue doesn't end with knowing. Even if it is told to you by other people, there will be no solution until you make an emotional association. We actually don't believe what we hear. We believe more in the correctness of our own observations. 